Alrighty, good morning or good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Happy Tuesday. So this is going to be part one of two of our next video and this is going to show some sort of application that we can use trigonometry in for real life, specifically measuring the height of buildings. So today what we're going to make is called a clinometer. So a clinometer looks like this. So you'll see that there's several things that stick out to you. Number one, there's a protractor and two, there's a straw, and then I've got some sort of hanging weight. So what people used to use this for was a way of measuring something called inclination. So how much something is tilted one way or another. So I'm going to show you in this video how to make one of your own. And in the next assignment, I'll show you what we can do with this. So first up, I have on here printed out a paper protractor. So I'm going to make this available online. It is really, really big. And one of the things that makes this different from a regular protractor is you'll notice the zero degrees starts here. It's mirrored image, unfortunately, but it goes up to 90 this way and then up to 90 this way. Now, it's good because it doesn't matter which way we look through the clinometer, we can still get an accurate measurement. The other thing that you're going to need, because this is made out of paper and because you're going to want to handle it and move it around and use it, I found a piece of cardboard from a box. I cut it out and glued my paper protractor to one side of it. And then next up, I poked a hole right here. The reason being is I need to feed a string through my clinometer because what I'm going to be doing is having something that measures the angle of what I look through. So I poked a hole as close to the center line as possible. So you'll see up, if I bring this up close, there's this center line here and then there's this little arch. I tried to go right in the middle of there, not too close to the edge, but we want it to be within this circle for sure and along this vertical line. That way, if I get this set up and the string is hanging, it should hang very close or at zero degrees. So I want it to, when it hangs at rest, and if I'm flat, it'll be at zero degrees. So I'll feed a string through this so you need a string and you want there to be a weight on the edge. So I used a, just a metal pencil sharpener. I like to use something with a hole going through it. That way it'll stick or that way I can tie it off. Um, you want something heavy enough to have some weight to it that it'll keep the string taut and that it won't wiggle around too much. If it's too light, it'll move around a bunch and it'll be hard to read. The other thing when you're building this is you want the string to hang past our protractor. So if we had, if I may change this for a second, if my string is like this, sure it'll work, but it makes reading it that much harder when I tilt it on an angle. Is the string pointing at 20 or 30 or 40? Whereas here, because it's going past, if I pause it at a certain angle, I can get a much more exact measurement and I can see, oh, it's at like 24, 24 degrees. You'll probably get within one degree. The last piece, because you're going to be looking through this, is a straw that I've taped in two spots. So I've taped it here and I've taped it here and I've tried to keep the distance, I'm trying to show it so you can see, you can see that there's a little gap in between and it's about the same distance all the way across. So kind of how you're going to be using this. I made this really big so a straw actually doesn't cover the full length. So I push the straw to one side because what I'm going to be using this for is I'm going to be looking through it at objects. So I'm going to be looking through the straw. If I'm looking flat, it'll show a zero degree angle. So if I'm holding this nice and flat, it'll, my clinometer will be basically at rest. And then as I tilt up to look at things, you'll notice that the string starts moving. And as I increase the inclination, the angle gets higher and higher. And the reason why we start at zero here is because when you're looking forward, you can imagine it being an angle of zero degrees because what we're eventually going to make is a triangle where we are this bottom corner and we're observing the height of something. So we want to know that sort of angle going towards it. So the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this and what our assignment is and what we're going to use this for. But for now, 
I want to keep this video nice and short, so this is how you make what's called a clinometer. I'll have the resources online. Stuff that you're going to need for yourself is a straw, a string, and some sort of weight. All right, as always, take care, stay safe, have a good one.